My name is Laurent Lemaire, I'm the CEO of ELSCO. Studied uh, econometrics, economics and mathematics, went into weather modeling in insurance companies, then went into broking in London, went into insurance again, space insurance in Italy, and created ELSCO uh, 12 years ago in Dubai in the DIFC. ELSCO stands for else, like something else, so we wanted to underwrite which is analyzing risk, creating portfolio of risks uh, differently from uh, what the market uh, or what we've been doing before. Our job is fairly simple. We uh, underwrite on behalf of insurance companies. So insurance companies subcontract the underwriting to us, meaning that we put teams together, we aggregate capacity in order to be relevant in highly technical insurance line, being satellite, aviation and energy, and uh, in order to do um, that more effectively, more efficiently, on behalf of those insurance companies. Now, just before setting up Dubai, I was based in Italy. Um, but when we created ELSCO, we had uh, the options of a few locations. We decided to go to Dubai for many reasons. One of it is satellite industry was picking up in Asia, being China, being Japan or South Korea, and none of our competitors were there, so we thought there was a need there. And furthermore, I think f as a base for our families, we thought that uh, Dubai and the UAE was, uh, was probably a good compromise. We had the option to go to Asia, but once you are in Asia, it's very difficult to keep your relationship with Europe. We thought that Dubai was a good compromise in that sense. The fact that Emirates flies all over the world directly was also something we considered. And finally, I would say we felt comfortable within the DIFC setup. Why we've been comfortable in a DIFC setup, I think I would probably say Firstly, due to the design and, and, and the actual physical setup, which we think was uh, a nice surrounding to, to work. Having the ability to walk anywhere made it uh, more appealing to us. More importantly, I would say the fact that it's a regulated uh, place uh, using the dollar as a currency, using common law as a jurisdiction. Uh, all of that uh, made our clients comfortable and therefore enable us to grow uh, faster than if we were into uh, some other jurisdiction. I think we're very lucky uh, in the sense of the DAFC has got uh, nice views and so uh, for clients I think it's always uh, a nice place to be. Uh, you got a few, uh, you got diversity of, uh, of, of venues which uh, enable us to, depending on who, who are the clients, to uh, find some spot. So it's a definitely a place we, we come easily to, uh, to work during uh, daytime, but also to entertain uh, in the evening or lunchtime. And most of our clients, actually, when they come back, they, they really want to uh, go to one of the places which are around there. So it's a, it's a very nice place, and it's a place which has been growing. I think the quality and, and, and and the availability of uh, choices um, has, uh, has grown significantly uh, over the last five years, uh, which, is, uh, which is good. I've been to most places, I have to say, in, in the AFC, and uh, I think uh, you never get bored. When we started in 2006, uh, there was only one person uh, out of Dubai, and then we grew the team. We are currently about 50. Uh, 35 in Dubai, the rest are spread over the world. Uh, but up to now we've been growing by around 23% a year, year on year. Uh, and actually I think we are predicting a, a, a higher growth uh, over the coming uh, years. When we started we had a, a small office for uh, could accommodate up to four people and then uh, we moved into something which could accommodate up to 10 and then up to 30 and so yeah we, we we've been growing offices our footprint in the DFC consistently 
Our business model, Elsco business model, is to bring value to insurance companies. Bring values is bringing great teams, aggregating data, and one element which is fundamental today in today's world is IT and particular insure tech, giving our members the best tools possible to analyze risks. That's what we wanted to do. We wanted to bring that dimension. So we invested one year of turnover into our new setup. It took us four years to develop. And, uh, and while we were doing it, while we were talking to our members, demo it to uh, the world, uh, we just realized that uh, most of our members um, haven't seen something like that, didn't have something like that in their plans, but wanted that. So we decided to set up a separate company to do a spin-off. The company is called Atom Technology Limited, or located in the uh, FinTech Hive, in the DFC, still. We start with 15 people and we'll grow depending on, on the how successful we are with, uh, with our software, but um, we've uh, received an uh, enormous amount of interest in the marketplace and we are planning to transform that interest into a business in, uh, in the coming few years.